Star Trek 2009. It's Jane and it's JV and welcome back to see Jane Go TV or welcome for the first time checking out Star Trek. So this is the 2009 Star Trek, the J.J. Abrams. Um, this is the kind of a newer take on Star Trek from someone who loves Star Trek. I watch all the series um, Star Trek uh, Next Generation, DS9, Voyager, Enterprise, all the way up to the new stuff. Picard season three was amazing. Um I really like、uh, Strange New Worlds as well, and、uh, someone who doesn't watch Star Trek. I'm a Gilmore Girls kind of、uh, girl on <laughs> She, repeat. So on this channel, I made her watch the first two episodes of Star Trek. It didn't do well, but、uh, <laughs> we're gonna try it again. Star Trek, the the TNG, TNG、like、with the, Captain Picard with, with、uh, Professor X. Captain Picard, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not、okay. Professor X. I know, but with that actor. Yes, yes, same actor. Sir Patrick Stewart. Stewart. There you go. So、um, this is a, this is a different take. I want to get her reaction. I haven't seen this since two thousand nine, so fourteen years ago. So it's going to be kind of fresh for me as well.、Um, guys, never seen it. Like the video if you like it, because there is a, a part two that's pretty good, and we'll check that one out as well. Leave your suggestions down below. Check out our Patreon for the unedited reaction. You get to watch it with no ads and no edits, and you get early access to more videos, and you get Patreon only videos. So Patreon is the place to be, but don't tell anyone. All right, let's go. <laughs> USS Calvin.、It、must be huge inside that thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. My God. Uh oh. Look at those、Ooh. things. Oh, it's gonna penetrate them. What? Oh no. What? Holy! It's so much bigger. Yeah. Oh, that shot. Can they can they go、uh, get their dilithium crystals and shoot out of there? They're getting shot at. There's no time. Oh frick on his stick! Oh no! Oh, are they all gonna die? The heck! They're firing another. Oh, power to forge shields! They can't get、Whoa. the shields out. Damn. Oh gosh, my voice is going so high. Yeah, he sucked into the vortex of space. She. She. Frozen. Oh, so quiet. All demanding power to forward shields. It's like a sub. Sweating. Evacuation. God, I'm getting chills. My commander requests the presence of your captain in order to negotiate a ceasefire. Everyone, get on the escape pods. Every man for themselves. Go. If I don't deploy in fifteen minutes. Do you recognize him yet? I know. You see that guy from Modern Family? Thor. That's Thor. Hi, Captain. Oh,、your、I captain hear him. The heck, that's Liam Chris Liam Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. The heck, your captain now, Mister Kirk. I don't even captain. Reckon, I don't recognize him at all. <laughs> he doesn't look like Thor there. His hair is short. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to get past me? Quickly cut your hair. <laughs> I won't have a clue who you are. It's such a different visual style from what we were used to with TNG and stuff. Because TNG is mostly in that one room. Uh, it's just how JJ did it all. This is completely different.、Mm. Hopefully, he doesn't have his phaser set to stun. I stole the joke from Gilmore Girls. That's Thor. That's crazy. Very industrial.、Mm. Like a factory. Hard looking, you know. Twenty-two thirty-three zero four. Where are you from? Heck, is he gonna kill him? Oh! Bravo six maneuver fire full. Oh no! Fire! 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 Oh! Does Chris Hemsworth die? Like? All decks. This is the captain speaking. Evacuate the ship immediately now. Well, he immediately becomes captain. Yeah. Oh shoot! Delivering the shuttle. Delivering the shuttle. Frick on a stick, man. Oh. Oh. oh, baby, it's coming now. I'm on my way. Oh no! no get to the shuttle! Move, move, move! Get to the hangar! Get to the hangar! So he can't abandon ship, right? He's unsure. Yeah, that's why he said it like that. Not good. Shuttle thirty-seven is my wife on board. 
Yes, sir, she is. I need you to go now. Do you hear me? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. This is the only way you'll survive. Please don't, the ship. Uh, the shuttles will never make it if I don't fight them off. I need you to push now. They were waiting on him. Man, Man imagine delivering and then just your husband is gone. Oh, protected them. Yeah. Oh, and fire in here. Damn. Can't believe they're killing him right away. Collision course. Damn, that's a long countdown to watch. Like you're watching the last minute of your life. Oh, here's his baby. What is it? It's a boy. A boy? Tell me about it. He's beautiful. But you should be here. Talk more about him. We can name him after your father. Tiberius, you kidding me? No, that's the worst. <laughs> hey, let's, let's call him Jim. Jim? Jim. Disabled the ship. It worked. God, being a parent changes everything when you watch movies. Like from not to not. Like I didn't. That didn't affect me before. Holy! Not being able to be there for your your new baby and your wife. So sad. Heartstrings, man. Who did who did this? Hans Zimmer was him. Uh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's miles, right? So what does that mean? In kilometers. Nokia. You get one scratch on that car, and I'm gonna whip your ass. <laughs> uh oh, <coughs> you're not supposed to do that while you're driving. Yeah, that's oh, why. Oh shoot. Yeah. Get one scratch on that car. Yeah, Beastie Boys. <laughs> watch out! <laughs> Look watch out! out. Oh, shoot. Oh, please? Some kind of hover bike cops. Uh-oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cool. Going way too fast. Pull over. Oh, citizen. Pull over. Yeah, he can just, like, he, no matter how many turns you make, man, he's, guy's flying. Yeah, he's flying on a hover bike. Oh. oh I'll put a scratch, scratch. on it. Um... It's a canyon. What? Going faster? He knows how to change gears. Oh. oh, shoot. What the heck? He's, oh. oh, his car. He crashed it. Oh, he just made it. Citizen. Uh oh. Why wouldn't he just pull over and then it's still the car? Because he was mad at that guy. <laughs> Citizen, what is your name? My name is James Siberius Kirk. Tiberius. James Tiberius. So she Kirk. she did name him Tiberius. His middle name. middle name. Smash destroyed his stepdad's car. Yeah. I don't know if it's his stepdad, but live in my house. Live by my rules. Whoa! Buildings are like on the roof. Vulcans. Vulcan school. This is how they have to learn. Holy. In a room by themselves? Divided by non excludability and non rival, yeah. four thirds pi times the radius, an and it is morally praiseworthy but not morally obligatory. Damn, that's school. All memorization. I presume you've prepared new insults for today. Affirmative. Go on then. Bullying on, on Vulcan? Perhaps an emotional response requires physical stimuli. He's a traitor, you know. Your father? Oh. For marrying her. That human. Oh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, get him. Here we go. That's Whoa. a human response. Uh, Damn. Uh, yes. Emotion. Because Vulcans don't have emotion, right? Well, they have emotions, but they suppress them. Oh, he's bruised. They called you a traitor. Emotions run deep within our race, in many ways more deeply than in humans. You suggest that I should be completely Vulcan. And yet you married a human. As ambassador to Earth, it is my duty to observe and understand human behavior. So he's saying he did it for work? Yeah, basically. No. Which path will you choose? Mm. This is something only you can decide. Which path will you choose? There's no need to be anxious. Winona Ryder? Mm -hmm. I am hardly anxious. Dressed as a tree trunk. 
You are hereby accepted to the Vulcan Science Academy. It is truly remarkable, Spock, that you have achieved so much, despite your disadvantage. All right. Oh, have to sneak that one in there. S to what disadvantage are you referring? Your human mother. Is he Beats him down? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> Ministers, I must decline. No Vulcan has ever declined admission to this academy. Then as I am half human, your record remains untarnished. Oh. oh. Why did you come before this council today? Was it to satisfy your emotional need to rebel? The only emotion I wish to convey is gratitude. Thank you. Ministers, live long and prosper. Ha <laughs> ha. Live long Yeah, and make fun of his mom. Boom. Well, no one, now you don't get me. No Vulcan has ever denied entry into the Vulcan Science Academy. Well, I'm half human, so. Your record stand. remains untarnished. Can't make fun of Spock's mom. No, take a note. Can't make fun of Charlotte and Cheyenne's mom either. It's Jim, Jim Kirk. Jim Kirk. So time jump. Yeah. It's a horror. Well, they don't have first names here anymore? <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were just a dumb hick who only has sex with farm animals. Wow. Not only. <laughs> <laughs> you could handle me. That's an invitation. Hey. Damn, look at that shot man, glass. Relax. Farm boy, maybe you can't count. There are four of us and one of you. So get some more guys and then it'll be an even fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Stop it. He's going for it. Oh. oh. Did he kick him in the... Where the sun don't shine? No. It's a front kick. Mm. Mm. Oh. 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 Now she's going to punch him. <laughs> oh. Got so many punches the... to the face. Oh, oh. I punched his own guy. Oh. Yeah. Outside. All of you. Uh oh. You all right, son? You can whistle really loud. You know that? <laughs> you can whistle like really loud. Do. He didn't believe in no win scenarios. Sure learned his lesson. Uh, oh. You guys must be way down in your recruiting quota for the month. Well, if you're half the man your father was, Jim, Starfleet could use you. Wow. What a yeah. compliment. I'm done. Oh, come on. Riverside Shipyard. Shuttle for new recruits leaves tomorrow, 0800. Uh, your father was captain of the starship for 12 minutes. Aww. Including your mother's. And yours. And yours. Yeah. Wow. I dare you to do better. Oh. <sighs> Damn. He saved 800 lives. Okay. He, like, he either wouldn't have lived. It's like he would have died or grown up without a dad. Those were the only two options. Yeah, it's true. His dad. Oh, man. That guy, so since Kevin Conroy died, you know, the voice of the animated Batman? Yes. He took over. He kind of took over. Oh. You can tell by his voice. He has a really good voice for Batman. Chris Pine. And the Chris the son of Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah. And then they might run into Chris Pratt. Because <laughs> Star Lord Gilmora. Star Lord. He's thinking about it. And then uh, Chris Captain America. Oh, what's his name? Chris. Okay, wait. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Pine. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. It's yours. Oh, Four he years? just gave it to him. Uh -huh. Three. Three years. Damn name. Yeah. Oh, oh, low clearance. Chris Evans. Chris Evans. They're all Chris. Gentlemen. Uh. Oh, the ones he <laughs> beat up. Addie's gentleman. He's all bloody still. Three, three years, years later, later, he said he would get his own. He'd be captain in three years. Time jumps all over the place. Looks like Will Ferrell. Captain Kirk, Ohura. There's the doctor. There's Spock. And the other guy's coming later. Joey Tribbiani on the left. <laughs> captain Nero. What are your orders? We wait. We wait for the one who allowed our home to be destroyed, as we've been doing for 25 years. We wait for the one that what? I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to make him watch. So they, they stayed for, for 25, 25 years. years. Uh, Captain Kirk is like, is 25 years old. Yes. There's the ship they were looking for. Is Spock on that ship? <coughs> we shall see. Because I promised her I'd stop bringing guys back to the well, how, how many guys have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh -huh. Strangest thing. I was in the long-range sensor lab. Yeah, I, I thought all night. Oh. I was tracking solar systems, and I picked up an emergency transmission. Really? Oh. 47 ships. So you're not <sighs> going back to the lab tonight? Someone here. Kayla, who is he? Who's who? The mouth breather hiding under your bed. 
<laughs> you. Big day tomorrow. You're gonna fail. Gail, yeah, see you around. Get out. If I pass, will you tell me your first name? No! Good night. I think the fact that you picked- mm. The ship has lost power and it's stranded. Starfleet Command has ordered us to rescue them. Starfleet Fake. Command has ordered call. us to rescue them. Big call? Yeah. They're trying to get the more people there. And how do you what? expect us to rescue them when we're surrounded by Klingons? Captain. Alert medical. Shields at 60%. I understand. Well, should <laughs> What the heck? What is this? What's going on? Hmm. Arm photons prepare to fire on the Klingon warbirds. Yes, sir. Jim, their shields are still up. Are they? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Target locked and acquired on all warbirds. Firing. Fire. No shields. No. And the successful rescue of the Kobayashi Maru crew is underway. No one has ever passed the test before. How the hell did that kid beat your test? Yeah. Spock. I do not know. This session has been called to resolve a troubling matter. James T. Kirk, step forward. Hey, what's his name again? Is there anything you care to say before we begin, sir? Yes, I believe I have the right to face my accuser directly. Tyler Perry. Face my accuser directly, okay. This is Commander Spock. He is one of our most distinguished graduates. He's programmed the Kobayashi Maru exam for the last four years. Your point being? In academic vernacular, you cheated. Oh. Then not only did you violate the rules, you also failed to understand the principal lesson. Please, enlighten me. You of all people should know, Cadet Kirk. A captain cannot cheat death. Oh, oh. shoot. His dad. Your father, Lieutenant George Kirk, assumed command of his vessel before being killed in action, did he not? The purpose is to experience fear. Fear in the face of certain death. To accept that fear and maintain control of oneself and one's crew. This is a quality expected in every Starfleet captain. His dad didn't have fear. I hereby order all cadets to report to Hangar 1 immediately. Dismissed. Well, his, it's kind of a test to like, you know you're going to die, so what's the best option, you know? like. I don't know, but I like him. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> How many people can you save when it's a no-win situation? Yeah, you of all people. That's kind of shady. Yeah. That means you're grounded uh, until the Academy Board rules. Oh, shoot. Can't go. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Come with me. Ahura, Chachki. They gotta end up on the same flight. Uh, keep passing each other. I'm assigned to the Farragut? It was an attempt to avoid the appearance of favoritism. No, I'm assigned to the Enterprise. Okay. <laughs> just like that? Yes, I believe you are. Thank you. What are mm -hmm. you doing? I couldn't just leave you there looking all pathetic. Take a seat. I'm gonna give you a vaccine against viral infection from Milvarn mud fleas. What for? I'll give you the symptoms. You're gonna start to lose vision in your left eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why the Enterprise warped into a crisis without one of its senior medical officers. As you were. As you were. I hope there's a <laughs> like a needle that can just Fix cure it up, back. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that's Earth? Oh, is that Earth? Yes. Wow. No, I don't know. I look I think so. That's Iowa. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. The lens flare, JJ. Can you not see? Like, I thought he was blind in one eye or something. Oh, the Enterprise. Yeah, that's where they said, the Enterprise. Wow. You have an aller allergic reaction yeah. or something? Yeah, oh, okay. it's really bad. I keep checking the time. Oh, shoot, Spock. Yeah, keep out of his way. What? Oh. Oh, cool. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool transition. All decks, this is Captain Pike. Prepare for immediate departure. Helm, thrusters. Moorings retracted, Captain. Doc thrusters. Captain Pike. Strange new world. Captain Pike. Aye, aye, Captain. Course laid in. That's this guy. Maximum more. Punch it. Punch it. So he's what? in charge of the whole thing? He's the pilot. He couldn't report to his post. I'm Hikaru Sulu. And you are a pilot, right? Very much so, sir. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what's wrong here. Is the Sula. parking brake on? Uh, no. <laughs> Have you uh, disengaged the external initial dampener? <sighs> Ready for warp, sir. Oh. Let's punch it. Round two. Warp factor. Go! Man. This isn't worth it. A little suffering is good for the soul. Hey, how are you? 
<laughs> Always trying to flirt. My mouth is itchy. Like me. Yeah. I was in the neck. Ensign Chekhov, Pavel Andreevich. Chekhov. Should begin shipwide mission broadcast. Yes, sir. Happy to. Happy to. 9-5, Victor, Victor, 2. Authorization. <laughs> Victor, Victor. 9-5. <laughs> Victor, Victor, two. <laughs> okay. Victor, Victor. Yeah, have your attention, please. That's this guy. Thank you for your time. <sighs> Lightning storm. Uh, Lightning storm. Uh -oh. oh. His mom told him. Oh yeah. Maybe his yeah. What? Ah! Oh. Reaction to the vaccine. Damn it. <laughs> I need 50 cc's of cortisol. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, his fingers. Victor, Victor. Oh, we gotta stop the ship. Jim, why not? Stop the ship. There's no time. Damn it, Jim, stand still. Damn it, Jim. Another one? Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Ahora. But who is responsible for the Klingon attack and what's it took long ago? Was the ship. Oh, no, his tongue. No tongue? I can fix that. Was the ship what? Rom Romulan. Romulan. Yeah. Yes. Romulans. Romulans? Romulans are usually bad guys. They need to get out of there. Vulcan has no freaking defenses? Come on. It doesn't seem so. Oh. Uh oh, and there's his mom. So it's they can breathe like regular oxygen in in Vulcan? Yeah, on Vulcan, yeah. On Vulcan. Jim, what's going on? Jim, come back! Kirk! Captain! Jim, come, come back! Sir, we have to stop the ship! Kirk, how the hell did you get on board the Enterprise? <laughs> Yeah. Cadet Kirk, I think you've had enough attention for one day. No! Listen to him. Mr. Kirk, Mr. Kirk is not clear to be aboard this Look, vessel. I get it. Let him talk. It's not a rescue mission. Listen to me, it's an attack. Based on what facts? That same anomaly, a lightning storm in space that we saw today, also occurred on the day of my birth, before a Romulan ship attacked the USS Kelvin. <laughs> 47 Klingon warbirds destroyed by Romulans, sir. It was reported that the Romulans were in one ship, one massive ship. 47? Sir, I intercepted and translated the message myself. Kirk's report is accurate. We're warping into a trap, sir. The Romulans waiting for us. I promise you that. The cadet's logic is sound. You speak Romulan, cadet. Uhura. All three dialects, sir. Oh. Wow. Wow, sick. We seem to have lost all contact. Oh, sir, crap. No Romulan transmission. Because they're being attacked. They took Get out, out of it. 47 uh, Cleon Warbirds. Uh, you we don't have a standard chance. Oh, there's only 11 seconds. Starfleet ships. Five Four. seconds? Three. Yeah. Oh. Gave them enough time because they had. Oh, good thing he, he didn't warp right away. Yeah. All oh, the debris. They got destroyed. Shields are holding. If they'd warped, they would have been. Destroyed, right? Yeah, the whole fleet. There was like a, all those other yeah. ships. Oof. Ooh. That was close. Oh, is it gonna hit? Oh, oh scream. Oh. There it is. Romulan. Kirk was right. God. Oh, fire torpedoes. All <laughs> oh, these damn missiles, man. Oh, sick big. Oh. Sick, babe. They go right through the shields. Get out. Come on. You gonna manually load these things? What year is this? I know. Wait! The hull! Magnify! Yes, sir. USS Enterprise. Captain, we're being That's hailed. what he's been waiting for. Hello. I'm Captain Christopher Pike. To whom am I speaking? Spock, there's something I would like you to see. Captain Pike, your transporter has been disabled. You will manage shuttle. Come on board the Narada for negotiations. Frick, you know how that goes. Yeah. Are they going to kill this guy too? Captain Christopher Pike. And then Kirk has to step in? Captain, we gain nothing by diplomacy. Going over to that ship is a mistake. I too agree. You should rethink your strategy. I understand that. I need officers who've been trained in advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. Is he going to take Sulu? Not supposed to be here anyway. That the name? Yeah, you got it. Sulu. Too. Sulu. Hello. My name is Sulu. He has like a funny voice. That's how his voice sounds. Yes. Yes. The soundtrack in this is unbelievable. So this when, is what I'm going to hear for the next two weeks. Yeah. Um, whenever I play space better. games, like uh, Elite Dangerous, I'll put this soundtrack on when I play. 
Fall back, rendezvous with the fleet in the Laurentian system. Kirk, I'm promoting you to first officer. What? Captain. What? <laughs> and I'm not the captain. You are. Let's go. Captain Whoa. and first officer. Number one. Number sure, one. Spock has number one. No, Spock is the captain. Kirk is number Spock one. Spock has a number one. Captain Spock and Kirk is number one. But he didn't work with with Professor X, right? He's dead. Then you have just inherited his responsibility as chief medical officer. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Oh wait, the the doctor? Dr. McCoy, yeah, he's he's got promoted to the main doctor now. Okay. You brought the charges, right? Oh yeah. Can't wait to kick some rummy Lena. Yeah. Plot armor, the two of them, Sulu and Kirk, but that other guy is in a plot armor. He's a goner. He may as well be wearing a red shirt. How the heck do you know all this? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Pop culture? I, I, I see those <laughs> those Instagram things. It's like... Uh, Fencing. Fence? Fencing? Advanced combat Ranger. training. They should all have combat training. They're Starfleet officers. Mm -hmm. but I don't know, but he said advanced. You see memes and stuff that includes you in on red shirts? No, the red shirt thing is, is from Family Guy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We saw an episode. Do you remember? Yeah, and he knew it or something? Or yeah, he's like, like, oh, no! Oh, yeah. No, and then you explained it to me what it meant. Oh! Enterprise won't be able to beam you back until you turn off that drill. Good luck. Good luck. Wow, gravity on this planet, eh? Superhero landing? Wow. You know, there's no sound in space, right? Mm. But when you start to hit the atmosphere, then the sound comes. Okay, here it comes. Oh. They just burst through it? <laughs> no. Huh? What do you mean? Like they just smash right through it? Yeah, like the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant into the machine. No. 4,000 meters. 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters. 2,000 meters. How do they stop? Parachute? Yeah. Oh. Pull the chute. That guy's dead. He's even in a red. 1,000 meters? What the hell? Oh! Oh! Justin, oh. oh my gosh, why would he wait? Olsen is gone, so. Oh, idiot. It's like an adrenaline junkie or something. He wanted to wait till the last Take second. Take it off! Sorry for yelling, guys. Take it off! <coughs> Press the button, release! Somewhere, some kind of button. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it retracts. Even better. Cork oh. has landed to. Cork. Cork. Oh crap, they got guys. Romulans, they're super strong. Watch out. Oh shoot! Uh -oh. How's this guy still falling? Oh. Crap, his phaser. Oh. oh no! More Romulans! Oh boy. <gasps> oh! Oh, sorry. oh, he bounced oh, that was off! So loud. Sorry, guys. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, oh, another one. Oh, Holy. cool sword. S retractable sword. Oh, his fencing is going to come in, to come in handy. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I was, I was like thinking fencing wasn't that <laughs> yeah. good, but apparently. Cool. Oh, cool shot. Oh. oh. Sorry again, guys. Oh, no. He's going to step on his fingers. Oh. His fingies. Oh no! Come on! Sulu, get this guy! Ah! No! Oh, sorry. Oh, he's got an idea. Tennis Achilles! Oh, neck punch. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Damn. Punch this guy through his middle. Yep. Uh, his blood is green. Yeah. Kick him in the back! <laughs> Imagine falling from this height. Damn, it would take forever to hit the ground. Yeah. He's already probably dying. Yeah, but... Oh, the guy... The red shirt had the charges. Uh-oh. Why was that guy so eager to die? He was all crazy. He's like adrenaline junkie. Yeah. Transporter control is re-engaged. Check off run gravitational sensors. I want to know what they are doing to the planet. Hi, Commander. Uh, Captain, sorry. Oh. That's not it. Captain, sorry, Hey, Captain. cadet. Captain, sir. The drill's been sabotaged, sir, but we have reached the planet's core. Launch the red matter. Crap. 
Red matter. Shoot it! Too slow. Kirk Enterprise! They just launched something at the planet with the hole they just drilled. They're creating a singularity <gasps> that will consume the planet. Oh my god. They are creating they a black hole at the center of Vulcan? Yes. Oh, oh singularity. How long does the planet have? Moments. Minutes. Oh, oh my god. Check off, you have the con. Aye. What about how do you get oh, Kirk yeah. and Sulu back? Let's move out. Yes, sir. Pull it up. Minutes. 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 Oh. Oh my god! His shoot, he cut it off. Oh, Sulu cut his yeah. shoot off. His shoot off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Send out your shoot. Oh! oh. Not to be used Emergency twice. shoot, emergency. Come on, come on. Oh, I can do that. Take the call. Come on, check off. Black hole's expanding. We won't reach minimum safe distance if we don't leave immediately. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, they're falling! Move! Oh! oh my gosh. Come on, come on, triangulate it. Justin! <laughs> Spark, you can't do that! Energize! Gotta save his mom, his parents. Minutes. Moments. My god, the whole planet's gonna just. Oh, that sucks. He's gotta go. Imagine. Couldn't even if Earth was gonna be destroyed. Oh man, that would suck. That would be terrible. What's he doing? Get off. We must evacuate. Mother now. How were they doing? They were Oh. Beam me up. Oh, oh. one of the elders. Mom! Dad! Ah. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, come on. Five, four, four, three, four. Come on! I'm losing her. I'm losing her. I'm losing her. Why didn't. Oh, frick. His mom. She fell too soon. God damn. He just lost his mom. Oh, frick. He went to get her. Like, she was the main source, you know? Like, he. Uh, Oh my That's God. it. Holy crud. Man. Just disappears God. into itself. Man, black holes are terrifying. While the essence of our culture has been saved in the elders who now reside upon this ship. Six billion. I estimate no more than 10,000 have survived. What? Out of six billion. Yeah. Damn. Frick. They didn't colonize any other planets? So why don't we gotta like colonize other planets? So the species survives? Yeah. They're together. Are they together on the main program too? No, they weren't. I thought there was gonna be a love interest between her and Kirk. I didn't foresee Spock and her, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Justin! Oh, oh. No, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They didn't show anything. It's just okay, like... I closed my eyes. I couldn't handle it. <sighs> Out of the chair. <laughs> Where did the Romulans get that kind of weaponry? The engineering comprehension necessary to artificially create a black hole may suggest an answer. Such technology could theoretically be manipulated to create a tunnel through space time. Oh, wow. Yeah. He figured Damn it out. It, doctor. But you say he's from the future, knows what's going to happen, then the logical thing is to be unpredictable. You are assuming that Nero knows how events are predicted to unfold. The contrary, Nero's very presence has altered the flow of history, beginning with the attack on the USS Kelvin, culminating in the events of today, thereby creating an entire new chain of incidents. Yeah, new future. New timeline. Yeah, this isn't the same one as that. Because it's different. Yeah. I will not allow I'm us to go command. backwards. I I will will him him him. Instead of hunting Nero down. Security, escort him out. Oh, he's a first, he's first captain though. First officer. First officer. But he wasn't listening. Death grip. 
Get him off this ship. Holy. Get him off the ship? What, what the, the heck? Wow. Spock was mad. What? Holy. Is they <laughs> put him on an escape pod. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't know where he is. What the hell? Put him in the brig. It was... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But what if they don't, what if this isn't oxygen? They I never seem to is. have to worry about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess he wouldn't have done that if that planet wasn't, like, habitable, I guess. Yeah. And he doesn't have a warm coat. Yeah. What? He'd freeze in minutes. Yeah. Climb back down, bub. Get a jacket. This is, this is a bad idea. He would never find his way back to that little ship. And he has to go 14 kilometers. Fuck. It's maroon me on Delta Vega. What I believe a violation of security protocol 49.09 <laughs> governing the treatment of prisoners aboard a starship. Yeah, that's very extreme. You should have put him in the brig. Uh-oh. Something's gonna eat him. This guy's hungry. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey! Alien polar bear. Yeah. Oh, my God. He falls. Oh. Can you do that backflip that Ray did? Oh! Okay. Of course, something else even bigger kills him and eats him. Oh my god. Dinosaur. <sighs> wow, why would it go after the small food? You already got a big food. Yeah. Something else gonna eat that? What in the world? A whale or something? Oh. Oh no. He didn't even eat that other food. I know. He's still gonna come down. Oh my gosh. Not intentionally. <sighs> this did not go. Oh. oh, it's gonna crack and fall through. Yeah, is he gonna get soaked? Oh, Justin. Run! Justin! Oh, no! Justin! Oh! oh, no! But he came from the water, so he, he it's probably yeah. okay down there. <gasps> oh, oh, my God, it came in. It's in. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, oh shoot. He, oh, no, he, his tongue. Shoot it. Oh, oh, shoot the phasers. oh God, the tongue. Oh, oh Justin. Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm scared of fire. Is this? They're hiding him on purpose for the big reveal. Ready? Spock. Original Spock. James T. Kirk. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. How did you find me? <laughs> How did you know my name? Ah, oh, jeez. I have been and always shall be your friend. <laughs> I am Spock. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Old friend. Sir, I, I appreciate what you did for me today, but if, if you were Spock, you'd know we're not friends at all. You hate me. You marooned me here for mutiny. You're the captain. Pike was taken hostage by Nero. Okay. What do you know about him? He is a particularly troubled Romulan. Allow me. It will be easier. Whoa, whoa. Oh. 129 years from now, a star will explode and threaten to destroy the galaxy. Oh, that's scary. Mm. Broke our connection. See? A star went supernova. Okay. I promised the Romulans that I would save their planet. He promised. Oh. We outfitted our fastest ship. Damn. I would create a black hole which would absorb the exploding star. Oh. I was en route when the unthinkable happened. The supernova destroyed Romulans. Oh. Oh, shit. no. I had little time. Oh, I had to oh, extract so the red this. matter and shoot it into the supernova. But it was already done. Stop it from destroying the other planets. As I began my return trip, I was intercepted. He called himself Nero. In my attempt to escape, both of us were pulled into the black hole. Oh no. Well, the black hole made them time travel. Yeah. Nero went through first. He was the first to arrive. Oh. Dad's ship. But what was years for Nero was only seconds for me. He captured my vessel and spared my life for one reason. He beamed me here so that I could observe his vengeance. Oh, you could see it from there. I would be helpless to save mine. God damn. Billions oh. of lives lost. Because of me, Jim. Oh, man. I failed. Oh, that sucks. Emotional transference is an effect of the mind meld. 
Emotional transference. Oh, so he felt his pain. He feels it. So you do the heal? Yes. Going back in time, you changed all our lives. Jim, we must go. There is a Starfleet He's outpost. the reason his dad's dead. Where you came from, did I know my father? Oh. Yes. <sighs> you often spoke of him as being your inspiration for joining Oh, Starfleet. my God. Holy crap. He proudly crap. lived to see you become captain of the Enterprise. What? Captain. You must return you to as soon as possible. So much changed, man. I didn't, I didn't know any of this when I watched it 14 years ago. Holy, this is the Kelvin timeline. It's a completely different timeline. His dad was alive. I recognize that supporting me as you did must have been difficult. Is that a thank you? I am simply acknowledging your difficulties. Permission to speak freely, sir. I welcome it. Do you? Permission granted. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? <laughs> I'm making a logical choice, sending Kirk away. Probably, but the right one? He'll back home back out a saying. If you're gonna ride in the Kentucky Derby, you don't leave your prize stallion in the stable. Green blooded old goblin. His father. How are they gonna get back on the ship? There was a, a Starfleet outpost, they said. Like fourteen kilometers. Yeah. Imagine Leonard Nimoy getting that phone call. <laughs> I need you to resume You're back. Resume your position as Spock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Jawa. <laughs> okay, so I wonder how are they gonna get him back on the ship? Starfleet protein nibs and the promise of a good meal. And I know exactly what's going on here, okay? Punishment, isn't it? Ongoing for something that was isn't clearly it? an accident. You are Montgomery Scott. You know him. Hey, that's me. You didn't Scotty. Scotty. Hard working, equally starved staff the officer around? Me. Beam me up, get Scotty. Is that Scotty in the blue? You do nice. anything. You eat like a bean and you're done. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about food. I could not only beam a grapefruit from one planet to the adjacent planet in the same system, which is easy, by the way. What? This is how they get back on Enterprise. Yeah. I'll tell you when it reappears. <clears throat> I don't know. I do feel guilty about that. What if I told you <laughs> that theory was correct? Are you from the future? Yeah, he is. I'm not. Well, that's brilliant. Do they still have sandwiches there? <laughs> <laughs> 619 states. That any command officer who's emotionally compromised by the mission at hand must resign said command. Okay. Just got to get him emotionally compromised. I just lost my planet. I can tell you, I am emotionally compromised. What you must do is get me to show it. I then, Lottie. Wow. He is emotionally compromised. Yeah. And this Scotty lost his mom. Go on. <laughs> Coming back in time, changing his genie, it's cheating. Trick I learned from an old friend. Oh, cheating! <laughs> oh yeah. Cause he cheated. Kobayashi Maru. Aww. Aww, he likes him. I left his friend there. You can't they, come. They don't even have to go show up on the thingy. Oh no. <laughs> Scott, can you hear me? Oh no! Oh boy. What kind of liquid is that? Hold on a second! Oh shoot! It's like a Futurama. He would definitely be drowned. Uh. Get him out of there! He can't breathe! Oh, yep. Oh, no. So industrial, the ship. Yeah. Wow. Justin. It's way different than the show. If they kill him. Oh! What is it? It's like a blender. This is a long time to not be breathing. Come on, get him out of there. Turbine release valve activated. Oh. Close it. You all right? Oh. Damn. My head's buzzing and I'm sore, but otherwise I'm fine. Get the... <laughs> we have intruders in turbine section three. Uh-oh. Set phasers to stun. Set phasers to stun. Wow, like the design. So it's like a big factory. It's like the the design of the ships in this show is not like that at all. Oh, this no guy. <laughs> Cupcake. Addy, soldier. How is he? He's going to like, how the heck did you get back here? Speed. How did you manage to beam aboard this ship? Hey, you're the genius. You figure it out. As acting captain. Of the ship, <laughs> what did you well, I'm not telling acting captain. <laughs> what did Oh, trying to get a rise out of him. That, that yeah. doesn't make you angry. Are you a member of Starfleet? Um, yes. Can I get a towel? Please? Under penalty of... <laughs> <laughs> you will answer me. I'd rather not take sides. 
What is it with you, Spock? Your planet was just destroyed. Your mother murdered. Yeah, he's gone. If you are fuming that these experiences in any way impede my ability to command this ship, you are mistaken. And yet you were the one who said fear was necessary for command. I mean, did, did you see his ship? Do you see what he did? Yes, of course I did. So are you afraid or aren't you? You never loved him! Ah! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Case, anybody can help? Vulcans are three times stronger than humans. He's emotionally compromised. Spock. Is he gonna kill him? Justin. Everybody saw. Six, one, three. Captain's log. You are emotionally compromised? I, re I relinquish my command based on the fact that I have been emotionally compromised. Please note the time and date in the ship's log. Wow. First officer? Captain. They are promoted to captain. Everybody knows he, he's captain now, right, Kirk? I'm the captain now. I like this ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Well, congratulations, Jim. Now we've got no captain and no goddamn first officer to replace him. I am the first officer. What? I hate <laughs> the first officer. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I sure hope you know what you're doing, Captain. First Officer Kirk. I mean, First Officer Spock. Attention crew of the Enterprise, this is James Kirk. Mr. Spock has resigned commission and advanced me to acting captain. Either we're going down or they are. Is where's mom should have been? Mm -hmm. You asked me once why I wanted your mother. Yeah. I married her because I loved her. It's a good reason. From there, as long as the drill is not activated, we can beam aboard the enemy ship. Aye, that might work. Hey. Wait a minute, kid. How old are you? Seventeen, sir. <laughs> Seventeen. Also, my mother was human, which makes Earth the only home I have left. Cool. Aw. Promote him. I'm coming with you. Yeah. I Best friends. I regulation, but I know you will simply ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> See? We are getting to know each other. <laughs> he doesn't mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. Cool. Kirk knows that later on they They're become friends. friends. Well, in the in older that other world, timeline. Other timeline yeah. so How come Earth doesn't have a bunch of like defense, like ships and star bases and? I don't know. One. Titan, one of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter or Saturn? What did you say? Saturn. One of Saturn's moons, Titan. The rings will hide us. Thank you, Nyota. He got the name. Oh, yeah, the first name. <laughs> He's so awkward. <laughs> He's not wearing Our his... Name, I have no comment on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's an <interesting>. <laughs> <laughs> So her first name is Neo. Neo, her first name? Or Nero? Neo. Neo? I don't know. Oh, it says right there. N-Y-O-T-A. He called her Neo, but it may be Neota. Oh, crap. Oh. There shouldn't be a soul in sight. Damn, they came to the wrong one. <laughs> in the cargo bay. Shouldn't be a soul in sight. Scotty, beat me up. Mm. Hope they have enough ammo. It's like, oh, no, they do. Phasers? Yeah. Well, I've never seen them have to reload a phaser. Sun kill. Oh, that's done. I'll cover you. Are you certain? Yeah, I got you. Switches. Blue stun. Red's kill. Oh. Oh, he's on kill. Oh, he stunned him so he can mind meld. Watch out. And Captain Pike. Yes. And Captain Pike. Sick. Kill that guy before you leave. I <laughs> just shoot him. Yeah. He's down. He's this damn thing. What the heck? Come on, Earth. Where are your fighters at? Where are your automated uh, Earth, like, gigantic guns? My goodness. Oh, that's not Nihon. It's in San Fran. There's not, no tanks, something what? on the ground. They're on their own? Fighter jets, missile silos, anything. What are they finding? Spock's ship. Welcome back. Ambassador Spock. Oh, that's weird. Oh. oh. He knew 
Well, with he... Her manufacturing origin. Stardate 2387, commissioned by the Vulcan Science Academy. Oh, shoot. He has got questions. Oh. I'll be able to fly this thing, right? Something tells me I already have. <laughs> Not yet. Jim, the statistical likelihood that our plan will succeed is less than 4.3%. It'll work. In the event that I do not return, please tell Lieutenant O'Hara. Spock, it'll work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 2387. Okay. Time ship. How, shouldn't he go with him? Early Vulcans didn't believe in space, um, time travel. Whoa. How is Kirk getting off? Wow, that ship is humongous. Mining vessel? Probably mines asteroids. It appears you've kept information from me. Are they? Oh no, that bug thing is inside of him. Nero, shoot him. Yeah. Nero, order your men to disable the drill or I will. Oh! Oh, oh, crap. Frick. Oh no, there you was a the phaser. Sh you had the shot. Just taking it. Oh, look how high it is. I know your face from Earth's history. <laughs> oh. oh. Don't fall. Oh. Romulans, they oh. share the same stuff. Oh. Uh. 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 <laughs> the same they're stuff. They're too strong, you know? <laughs> oh, man, they're too strong. How strong? <laughs> too strong. Blow a hole in it. Blow a hole in it. It's gonna blow. <laughs> okay. Oh. Shoot the drill. Shoot it. Like oh, no. <gasps> That's oh, gotta motivate him enough. Oh yeah, you say something about my family. It's over. Shoot it. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Please tell me they didn't drill deep enough. Watch the stupid black hole matter inside it. <gasps> Don't hit the bridge. I know. Don't hit the bridge. The bridge is oh, out. Where's that from? You all say that. <laughs> That's something you always say. One day the you'll see. The bridge is out. We'll watch it one day. What the is it? The bridge is out. It sounds like a Come on. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. Every time. That's something you yell frequently. Yeah. Come on. Shoot. Come <laughs> on. Do it. <laughs> That's from two different movies. <laughs> is it? Come with me if you want to live. I want Spock dead now! Ignite uh, the uh. red matter. Oh, no. Oh, crap. And those things have little missiles inside of them. Get going, Spock! Oh, do the switcheroo. Come back to the ship. And make him hit its own thing. Uh. Oh, he warped out. Nice. He should have come oh. back. Holy. Good, they're away from Earth. Long jump. I don't know. Oh, he's, he's too that. short. Yep. Oh. oh okay. Oh. Hurt his ribs. Oh, oh no. That superior strength and speed. Oh my God! One-handed. Weaker than I expected. <laughs> Can't even speak. <laughs> Bart, that guy won't know what it is. I got your gun. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a survival skill. You have to be able to pull your body up. God. Practice getting out of the pool all yeah. the time, you know? Oh, shoot. What's he going to do? Captain, I picked up another ship. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Hit all those missiles. Hit, hit him. Oh, rapid Damn. fire phasers. Yes. Okay. Get Captain Pike out of there. He's been tortured. Just following orders. Got that thing out of yes. his mouth. Look out! <gasps> yeah! Quick draw, baby. Okay. What's he doing? Shoulder shims. Now they gotta... No! Come on, transport! Oh, he's smashing oh, it into it. He, he... Yeah, set it on purpose. There'll be a giant black hole right by Earth. No, they warped speed out of there. I know, but it's not that far. Yes! Pike... Get him to sick bay. Why do you gotta get that thing out of him? That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no one acknowledged it. <laughs> yeah, no one. <laughs> that was pretty good. All the red matter. One it's drop of that. A huge. Yeah, one little drop can create a black hole. And there's so much of it. Oh. Uh. Whoa. 
then where's it gonna go? It's just gonna end up somewhere else. Holy crap! What the? With yeah, a Kirk like, that doesn't it... know them again, and uh. Plus, it's logic, Spock. Don't you like that? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather die in agony than accept assistance from you. You got it. <laughs> All fire everything we've got. Yeah. F these guys up. Good. They offered peace first. Yeah. I hope the gravitational pull isn't too much. Yeah, right? And pulls them in? Yeah. Get destroyed. Get him. You're out of here. How do they close it? They're on the blue one? Oh, oh shoot. That's they, what I said. Gravitational pull. They're too pull. close. Turn around. Go. Punch it. Oh, they're getting sucked. Holy. Getting sucked in. Oh, they're at warp? Oh, crap. They're at warp. Oh. We are, sir. I knew they were too close. <laughs> yeah, he Is says that, that he in says? <laughs> Give me all she's got, got, Captain. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Come on, come on. Inject the core. Cool oh, it, the glass. We got a coolant leak. Yeah. Inject the core. Multiple cores. Okay, wow. The explosion will help push them forward. Okay. It worked. Whoa. No, did not work. Did work. How are they going to fix this? Whoa. Okay. Get to a station yeah. as quickly as possible. Now they've created this enormous black hole. Unless it's not. Like, it's temporary. Yeah, unless it's temporary. Unless it's not permanent. Okay. Now they kind of have this understanding. <sighs> yeah. Chris Hemsworth was the father of Chris Pine. <laughs> a handsome, muscular man. Father. <gasps> it's him. <sighs> I am not our father. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think they were going to meet. Oh, man. Don't do this. There are so few Vulcans left. We cannot afford to ignore each other. Wow. Then why did you send Kirk aboard when you alone could have explained the truth? Because you needed each other. He inferred that universe-ending paradoxes would ensue should he break his promise. <laughs> I, I implied an act of faith, one I hope that you will repeat in the future at Starfleet. In the face of extinction, it is only logical I resign my Starfleet commission and help rebuild our race. And yet you can be in two places at once. Oh. Since my customary farewell would appear oddly self-serving, I shall <laughs> simply say, good luck. Oddly self-serving, live long. Yeah, that's right. This assembly calls Captain James Tiberius Kirk. By Starfleet Order 28455, you are hereby directed to report to Admiral Pike, USS Enterprise, for duty as his relief. Man. He is Captain. Captain Kirk. I am relieved. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Captain. Your father would be proud. Um, oh, man. Told him he could do it in three years, you know? Yeah. Like four years. Eight years, you'll have your own ship. <laughs> like, three, I'll do it in three. three. He was right. Thrusters on full. Maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines at your command, sir. Dock control reports ready, Captain. <laughs> Scotty, how we doing? Dilithium chambers at maximum, Captain. <laughs> Get Dilithium. Down. <laughs> he got him! <laughs> Part of Starfleet. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Permission granted. As you have yet to select a first officer, respectfully, I would like to submit my candidacy. Should you desire, I can provide character references. <laughs> it would be my honor, Commander. <laughs> Maneuvering Trevoring is Mr. Sumo. Cool! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Base. The final frontier. Kirk's voice. No. No. Spock's voice. That's what I meant. Your ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds. To seek Leonard out new Nimoy's life forms voice. and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Yeah. Live long and, and prosper. prosper. Wow. Man, that was really good. 
really freaking Excellent. good. Excellent. Oh, jeez. I know, right? That was great. You liked it? Yeah, I did. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Liked it a lot. Yeah, it was good. I really liked it. It was like, I can't believe that was two hours already. Yeah. yeah. It's such a refreshing way to like introduce people to Star Trek. Yeah. Because like, I, I can admit like watching TNG and stuff, it's a little outdated and stuff. And it's like a lot slower. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get people on board if yeah. they weren't already a fan trekkies or whatever yeah but this um is it's refreshing and i liked it i really like how <laughs> they give an excuse as to why everything's changed yeah it so. was well <coughs> well done in that sense because it's like they're not trying to um like remake the wheel yeah they're, they're not trying to put out a new version yeah so instead of like having all these new characters and just saying like the, the these events happened but they just weren't shown in the show it's like no from the time traveling perspective like it when nero things. came back and and killed um captain kirk's dad like and and that ship mm -hmm. that changed this whole timeline when nero killed captain kirk yeah captain well, kirk he, he didn't really kill captain kirk captain kirk um used his Ship yes. To kill Nero. Well, he ship. he he um, Wait. like rammed it, and then it was like it, it was disabled for. Oh, a bit. okay. But yeah, it yeah. Didn't, he didn't destroy it. Didn't, okay. It was just because the he wanted the escape pods to escape his wife yeah. and his son and everyone else. Um, so he sacrificed himself, but mm. that changed <coughs> the course of history. So yeah. that was the point. It's in crazy like, that everything. his dad was so proud of him, you know, and he was like, he's like. Is my dad alive where you're from? Like, yeah, and he was so proud of you when you became captain. Yeah. So this timeline, like, stole that from him. Like, yeah. Captain Kirk, like, he did. So in the real, in the norm, the regular timeline, he, he, he grew up with his dad and he, like, he had, you know, he was still alive. Mm -hmm. And this one, he lost him. That's so crazy. So I never sad. put that together back in the day when I watched it, but. Oh man, and Chris Chris Hemsworth was his dad. He played it brilliantly. He did. He, I, you know, I didn't recognize him obviously because that's hair. who I am. Yeah, <laughs> I just um, if anyone changes something slightly, I'm like, oh, who is that? Yeah. It's like I could have been with them before their haircut. Um, yeah, it was just it was really cool all in all. I, I liked it a lot. I thought that Zoe was great in it too. Oh yes, she she played. Uh, Uhura. Uhura. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I just loved that. The communications officer, her like listening skills yeah, it was so, so cool. crazy and her linguistics. And then she relieved like the, the guy that was on the bridge. Yeah. I like, couldn't do the different dialects. And then she's like, like Yeah, I know all three. Out. Like, all right, relieve them. Yeah. <laughs> You're out of here, buddy. <laughs> so now sweeping cool. the the like other areas like <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like on the deck yeah, yeah. <laughs> cleaning yeah um and it's cool to see uh ohura and spock's relationship mm -hmm. because in the in the old mm -hmm. old school Kissing show they never had a relationship like they weren't together mm. <coughs> and there was um it was more implied of captain kirk and ohura kind of i think I, I, i'm not too but um. It was crazy, Spock. too, because Spock was ready to leave her to go, like, make some uh, Vulcan babies, you know? Oh, you think he... No, I think he wanted to, like, just help rebuild. Oh, he didn't mean, he like, gonna, repopulate. No, well, no, no. I thought he meant repopulate. But no. it was, I guess he's, like, <laughs> half, so I don't know if that would... Well, mm. the, the Vulcan gene, it dominates. Yeah. For So you're, you're basically Vulcan. Um, but... Yeah, so Vulcan was destroyed. This is the Kelvin timeline, so this is different. Vulcan is destroyed, mm -hmm. um, and there's only 10,000 of them left. Spock, older Spock is there, yeah. living in the universe, but he's helping rebuild It's Vulcan. cool that he, he inferred, you know, that it, that the universe would collapse yeah. and everybody <laughs> is just like, he lied. He lied. No. Yeah. He led him to it's, believe. Vulcans don't lie, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and... I think uh, Chris Pine did an excellent job as Captain Kirk. Totally. He, he was, was like fantastic. The, he was uh, like an action hero. He was charismatic. He was funny. 
um, just everything like mm-hmm. Captain Kirk is. So that was perfect. It, everyone did a great job in it. Actually, I liked it a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing the second one. Yeah, the supporting um, cast. And uh, rest in peace to Anton Yelchin. So he oh. passed away um, in a freak accident. Like what it, happened? He was, uh, I believe, to, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I Click believe it. that um, so yeah, his his car, his his driveway is on a hill. Yeah. And he parked his SUV, and then as he, he got out... Pinned between got his pinned. Jeep and the, prick, and the brick pillar gate post outside of his house. In a freak accident. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So he got pinned, and then he died. Rehearsal on June 18th. God. God. Like, it's so weird how that so happened. So he yeah. just didn't arrive for rehearsal. And he was stuck there. Like He died. God. Yeah. Oh, he suffocated. He couldn't get the Jeep off. Like, I don't know. Who know like I don't know what happened, but it's so sad. But yeah, he he's check off and rolled down his driveway and trapped him against his security gate. Oh my gosh. That's such Crushed. a freak accident. You know, yeah. Like, that is holy he was so young. Terrible. Too. Yeah, twenty seven years old. That's Oh my gosh! And there's pictures of the gate. Okay, come on. I have to, you know, I go into this. I know. Area. I can't. I don't oh wanna, my god! I'm gonna get really depressed. Yeah. Oh, and they came and like they spoke at the funeral and stuff. Oh. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's, that's so sucks. sad. He was fantastic. Yeah, he was great. The whole supporting cast was so so well done and perfectly picked for the role. To have this like refreshed version of um, Star Trek, and I, I'm I'm so happy you liked it. That's like, I know I should I'm in a dark, <laughs> in a dark, dark place. place. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, gonna know like everything about yeah. this accident as soon as we're done. So the next one is Star Trek Into Darkness. With what year did it come? Benedict. Up? This, so this one is 2009. Can you put Star Trek Into Darkness? 2013. So he he's still alive. That yeah, that was my main thing. So it came out four years later. 84% and really high again. <laughs> right, tomatoes. So we're going to check we're going to check that out guys. Leave a like that really helps us gauge gauge you guys want to watch. Leave a like on Patreon and especially on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and um for more movie reactions uh yeah, that's it. <laughs> right. Hey guys, we're out of right here. here. Peace. If you like that video and you want to see more, go ahead and click that square button. And if you want to subscribe, click that circle button. Thanks for being part of Team Go.